If you've ever researched Finland, the odds are you have seen this resort in your search results. It is famous for its luxury glass cabins and igloos. We decided we need to check it out for ourselves, so get ready for a complete tour of the entire snowy property and our beautiful glass cabin. Welcome to Apuka! We have an Aurora cabin. If you've researched places in Finland, I'm sure this place or another place that has popped up that has like glass walls so that you can look up at night and see the Aurora Borealis. That is why it's called the Aurora cabin. Now it's time to show you guys around. Well, this room might not look very exciting. It's like our little coat room. So when we first walk in, we can take off our coats, our boots, so we don't track all the mud and gross snow in there. And now it's time for the exciting stuff. Let's go. Ta-da! Wow, this place is super cozy and so cool. We did look up at night last night when we were falling asleep looking for the Aurora Borealis, but it was a super cloudy night and the KPs were low. That's okay, we've already seen the Aurora Borealis and it is incredible. We have a desk, which is super nice. We don't have to sit on the couch or bed and work. We also got a little fridge. We got some food because the food, you know, eating out at restaurants all the time is pretty expensive. So it's nice that we got a fridge. We got a little coffee maker here. The best part is obviously this giant window wall that we have. We can just stare out at the forest, all the other cute little cabins. Maybe one of these nights we'll see the auroras in the night. And my favorite thing today was that it started snowing and I was just watching the snowfall on the windows and it was so lovely. But if you don't like the snowfall on the windows as much as I do, they do have a window heater that you can turn on so that it melts all the snow so that you can see the auroras. And then no cabin would be complete with out a cozy fireplace you just flip this right here you can turn it on off and I, you can actually turn on some heat too so if you get cold although it's pretty hot in here and I think the floors are actually heated but I think mostly it's just for atmosphere the only slightly unfortunate thing about this place is that there's not really any lights in here. I'm assuming they're trying to keep down the light pollution so that it doesn't ruin it for the cabins around you. But it is a little bit tricky because there's only like three hours of daylight right now. So <laughs> when we're just in the cabin at night, it's just like slightly annoying, but I understand it. Now we have the bathroom. And unfortunately we do not have a sauna in this bathroom like we did at Santa Claus Village. And I really miss it because I loved a good sauna and roll in the snow. Here it is. Also, I'm guessing they use this as a bidet. Can't get it out. If you're from Finland or Europe and you have these little things next to your toilet, are you supposed to use it as a bidet? I don't know what else it would be used for. Like I'm not gonna take a quick little shower while I'm sitting on the toilet, you know? And then we have a rain shower and a shower head and that's the bathroom. But now we're gonna get to the really good stuff. We're gonna go walk around the property and show you the cute horses and the forest and the lake. Whew, let's do this. We have some very exciting news. We got our suitcase back. If you've been following us in the last couple videos in Finland, you may have noticed we've been wearing the same clothes for almost every video, but now we're wearing new clothes because we have our bag. It's so exciting. We were really scared we were going to leave Finland without it and may never see it again. Here is our cute little cabin from the outside. As you can see, the windows are huge and then the other half is just normal walls. Although I do think it's kind of interesting. We've like seen a few people like in their cabin. So like you definitely can see it from the outside. <laughs> This is my, I'm staying at a super nice resort and I love Finland dance. As you can see, there are many, many Aurora cabins. They also have a few other accommodations that when we walk past them, we will show them to you. They have superior Aurora cabins, so they're 
probably gonna be pretty much the exact same thing as these ones, but I'm excited to see what the difference is. This is the restaurant we had breakfast at. The way we are, we've been judging the breakfast here at all of our accommodations in Finland is how good the salmon is. I would say the salmon was pretty decent, so I think it's okay. You can also see here that it says negative three degrees. It's actually an extremely warm day here. So we're only in like three layers. There's all these little ice sculptures here. I don't know exactly. What does this one look like, a bear? Uh, oh, <laughs> actually that's a pretty good guess, Jacob. And I would have just said, oh yeah. You think you can move it? Yeah. All right, try. Actually, I probably shouldn't try. <laughs> I might actually break them. And there is where we checked in. This one is for sure a wolf or a dog. I can definitely see that. These horses are so stinking cute. You can tell that they have like so much fur, like way more fur than a normal horse, which of course they would have to adapt to this weather. They need a lot of fur. Oh, look, he's looking at us. They stopped eating to just stare at us. <laughs> they're like, don't take any of my hay. They look like Icelandic horses because they're a lot shorter and like stockier than normal horses. So maybe they are, I'm not totally sure. While we were in Iceland, we saw a lot of horses just out in the countryside. And we were told that they were exported to so many different countries around the world. So I wouldn't be surprised if these were Icelandic. Now we're going to the lake, which is actually supposed to be a very good spot for watching the northern lights. Okay, yes, it is a warm day out here, but it's still negative three and it's getting kind of cold. It's time to walk out on the dock. Hopefully it's stable. It actually looks like a lot of people have been walking on this ice. I mean, I'm not gonna try it, but it looks like it's pretty thick at this point. Behind me here is a sauna and a little spot where you can go ice swimming, which I actually really wanted to do, but they charge like 185 euros per person. Oh my gosh, Jacob. Stop, this is really scary. Stop, it you seems, psycho. It seems pretty stable. I think. It literally said caution, thin ice. Jacob, do not go too far. Okay, get back up here, you psychopath. Oh my gosh. Stop. Just, there's just wood under me. It's oh. not the actual lake, it's just wood. Are you serious? Yeah. Right there. That is straight up the lake. No, Jacob. that's 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 not that's wood. Not. You're wrong. I'm sorry. Okay. Get up. Yeah, I'm wrong. Two people just jumped so far in. Like they didn't like walk in, like they straight up jumped off the dock into the water. Oh my gosh, I cannot imagine that on your head. That would be so cold. We found this little sledding hill. It looks like you just grab a tube, but walk up the hill and you sled down. That's something we might do in the future. Now we're headed to the really fancy part of the hotel. Right here we have a superior Aurora cabin. I'm looking at it and I'm pretty sure it's the exact same. It just might be a little bit bigger. I think it's more for like families if you have more than like two people staying in one. These ones behind me look really fancy. These are the Lapish Cami Suites and they're different because instead of having the glass around you so you can look straight out and somewhat up, you just look straight up and you can see the sky. But it's interesting that the two times that we've seen the Northern Lights here in Finland, you kind of saw them on the horizon and you didn't really see them up in the sky. So I feel like the Aurora cabins would actually be better for that. It looks like they do have small little windows on the side though, so that would be good for seeing the Northern Lights. The more we keep walking around, the better view we get of these cabins and it looks like they have more windows on the side now. And right behind me here, we have the family suites. I think they're just like really big cabins if you have a lot of people with you. And I am 
freezing cold right now, so I think we're gonna run back to our cabin. Home sweet home. This place is really expensive, so instead of paying more money to do a different activity, we're spending most of the day inside. We are all cozied up in our little cabin under blankets, just working a little bit, but we decided to take a break for dinner, so we have some guacamole and bread. I'm just gonna call it avocado toast. Every once in a while, we'll just turn out all the lights and look up to see if we can see any northern lights. We haven't yet, but it's nice that we can look out at the stars. 